say, bro, these joints pre-recorded, fam. So by the time y'all hear that bit, I'm pretty much enjoying the fam, dog. And I hope y'all like doing the same. Make sure y'all be safe out there, bit, bro. You know, thankful and grateful y'all going to pay homage to that squad, bit. Notification gang, check. Well, we lit then. What's popping, art right, fam? Art right, ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game hitting that like button. For the start, got a real art right, fam salute. Anyway, up first we got that boy six nine. Okay, fam. So for the past few days, bro, that boy six nine been the topic of discussion, dog. Which for him is usual anyway because he constantly in the news, dog. But this time things are different, bro. Because a few days ago, six nine got arrested on multiple charges along with other members of his crew, bro. Well, his old crew, bit which he fired, and the feds got wind of them wanting to whack this man and to. Dang. It's more of the same, bro, because they still want to super violate this man, bro. They trying to catch him lacking Why he in general population, fam. They trying to beat the fuck out of 6ix9ine, bro. 6ix9ine don't want none of it. And it's being reported by TMZ that 6ix9ine is being transferred to a new facility used for witness who cut deals. Sources connected to the new detention center tells TMZ the U.S. Marshals facilitated the transfer Wednesday night. Our sources say 6ix9ine specifically asked to be in a unit away from the Crips and the Bloods. 6ix9ine attorney Lance would not comment on whether his client is trying to cut a deal in return for spilling the beans on others in his racketeering case. He would only tell TMZ the transfer was for security reasons. His attorney also stated 6ix9ine was getting threats from gang members at MDC. Takashi, who was behind bars until Wednesday night at the Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center, where he was exposed to other inmates in general population, is not in a unit with neutral inmates. Translation, no gang members. As you can see, fam, they at that nigga 6 9 neck crazy, bit. Outside of him firing them, they know there's a huge chance 6 9 gonna snitch on them, bro. Overall, it's just a crazy situation, fam. But... When you choose that street life, you got to take everything that comes with it, bro. As more details come along, I keep y'all posted, fam. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel. Also, follow me on IG and Twitter. Links are in the description. On my dead bed. Oddball. Gone.